Okay, Casey, this is the uh, 17414 Shadow Valley. This is one of the listings I had sent you that I thought looked good. Your response then was that it was it was too small, and I'll we'll look at the rooms when we get in there, but I decided to take a look at it again. Uh, it's a very, very nice house. Uh, the surrounding areas are really well maintained, actually. Nice part of the neighborhood, way in the back. I'm going to shoot this whole scene from the second story window. Uh, you'll get a better idea. But uh, most of the yards are nice. Houses are all about the same size, you know, 2,400 square feet or so. That's neighbors, but a nice detached garage. Let's go in. This one's been completely updated according to the seller there's been about forty five thousand dollars in in upgrades including uh, new windows okay. new appliances things like that we'll see all of that but really nice roof looks really good new front door new storm door what's going in Right at the front door is the uh, foyer and the staircase that goes upstairs. And it uh, leads straight into the family room, but it's still got a pretty nice size foyer. These are about uh, six or seven inch tiles, they're not foot wide. And then right to your right is the uh, formal living area and dining area. It's really a very, very spacious. Sorry, I had a pinched nerve there for a minute. This is the living area with the bay window looking out to the front. All right. Three nice blinds, all new windows, completely new windows. And then the formal dining area, which goes into the kitchen there. Brand new floor, gorgeous wood floor. I would not have those in my house. Let's go around. This is the uh, the family room, and just before you get there, there is a uh, a half bath. Really clean. The house is absolutely immaculate. Everything is very clean. That's just a plain half bath there. And then this is the family room with the uh, fireplace. High ceiling with the ceiling fan. Again, the same wood floors, which are, just look brand new. So, uh, the shelving there. And, and I don't know if this was the room that you thought was small. It could be maybe a little tight, depending on how much furniture you have. It does have wood burning, lo I mean, gas logs in the fireplace. All right. I'm going to swing back up here against the back wall right next to the fireplace and give you a view of the rest of the house as it looks from here. There's the kitchen separation there. And I'll pan around. Stairs looks down a little bit. All the bedrooms except the master are upstairs, so there's good separation between the, the master suite and the separate bedrooms. Okay. Look at the kitchen. The kitchen's been really updated. Uh, granite counters, all new appliances, tile backsplash, uh, nice tile on the floor. All these. Um, French doors have been replaced that have the, the blinds built in inside where you can uh, see this thing adjust the blinds just up or down. I think that's really cool. They don't rattle. Okay. Um, new high 
high-end, looks like a high-end faucet, fairly new sink. But uh, the appliances are all really new. This is a GE profile, Maytag, double oven, and a Whirlpool dishwasher. And I'll let you look at this. Um, there's a list of the upgrades. I'll hold them and you can look at that. You can pause that frame and look at it when you get a chance. Total about 45000 Okay. Alright, so you got uh, more cabinets over there. Open up the pantry for you. There's the uh, shelving on the door. Not overly large, but not too bad. Okay. And again, we'll get to the door where the formal dining room is and the formal living room again. Just another good size room. And then back on the back side of the kitchen is the utility room, which is another good size room. Cabinets there for the washer and dryer. It has both gas and electric connections. And then there is the uh, door into the garage. Pretty, pretty cleaned out. Garage door opener, a little bit of shelving up in here too. But very cleaned out. This is looking back from the utility room door back to the kitchen. And it has a nice island there with a uh, new four burner whirlpool gas cooktop. Okay. Right, so everything looks good down here. Let's go in the master. Bedroom, which is off the family room. Uh, a pretty good storage closet under the stairs. There, going into the bedroom. Uh, high ceiling in here. Car carpets throughout the house is in very good shape. Would not have to be replaced at all. Looks like it's been cleaned, actually. And then the bathroom here has a double sink, long vanity, updated light fixture, updated faucets, which are very nice. You can see how clean compared to some of the others we've seen. Um, it's got a big uh, garden tub area, a you know, place for some decorative things to set up, some plants or whatever. Again, the uh, faucet's been replaced. The tub is immaculate. And I uh, have a shower. Again, it's even extremely clean. I'm very impressed. And we also have a nice uh, hardwood floor walk in closet. size closet. Okay. And the rear commode area there, another thing that's private. So there's the master bath. High ceiling in here as well. Okay. Alright. Let's go upstairs and I'll stop this view and then we'll take the next video upstairs, alright?